what's up Headspace has another installment yeah now it's VJ the brother from the ancient mother <laughs> yeah so I'm sitting here with one of my favorite people a hip hop practitioner somebody who's been present in many elements of the game uh, by the way just so you know this is still part of our element series because it really seems as if Y'all all know that hip-hop is a whole culture that encompasses facets. And because it's a whole culture, this is bigger than pop culture. We're not here talking about lean and brands. We're talking about the Bronx. We're talking about the emergence of an expression in so many art forms. In DJing, in craft writing, in breaking, and eventually in MCing, which became such a trope of pop culture that nowadays niggas think rap and hip-hop are exclusively synonymous so to bring about the awareness and the consciousness and the education we're talking about graph we're talking about the art of graph writing we're talking about graffiti we're here to talk about pros and cons origins and subsequent futures where the art form comes from and where it's subsequently going especially with context the assembly hands what is graffiti in a south african context I'm here talking to my brother and he's going to introduce himself. What's up, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the people. <laughs> Salutations. Oh, um, hola. Tolo, Tolo Rika Keswa, Zulu no Zulu. Yeah, some might know me as Hakim, uh, book space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, visual artist, uh, graffiti writer, yeah. uh, illustrator, designer. Zonga Zando, Zonga Wende Wan. Yeah, that's me. Bra, bra, bra. Yeah. <laughs> what do I call you for the course of this conversation? Zinil. Shout out to all. Hey, um, <laughs> what about say works a lot? Tip. Yeah, I was Zinil. Like trying to put it. <laughs> okay. That's the beauty about yeah, hip hop. Yeah, I am the who works a lot. Okay, I okay. Work a lot. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, the yeah. infinite renditions. So I'm chilling here with Tolo. Uh, the links on the description to the many impeccable works the brother's done. He's, all, he's an MC, he's a graph writer, but here particularly we're here talking about the art form of graph um, because it's important. There's not a lot of conversations yeah, on graffiti. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I just want to start by saying, uh, give me your intro into, like, generally, as Nujita, and falling in love with hip hop and eventually coming into contact with this art for me graffiti yeah 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 king um well, i think my intro to e graffiti was through e tv <laughs> no doubt yeah tv tv king um uh, i remember seeing a clip i think it was rusty uh doing a for a bonus, like he was showing basically how to 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 use a spray can mm. um, in different ways. Like uh, he was he was holding a, I think it was a plastic one can. Mm. I'm not sure, but it was those tall, thin ones. Yeah, that's a plastic one. Yeah, yeah, and you can't change the cap. So mm. he was showing like the techniques on how to get like fades, thin lines, fat lines mm. uh, on street chain. Ooh, shout out to Street Channel. Yeah, yeah, Those yeah. that know, Street know. Channel, yeah, yeah. yeah King. Um, that was when I was like, oh, flip. Because in the years of Bayona, is something that it couldn't have. Yeah. Yeah, Oprah, my older brother, Ebe Zoba, I used to trace the drawings like um, He used to do those cards. You know those cards they hang at the houses? Uh, as a promoter, Ikai. Oh, oh yeah yeah okay yeah with the with the mosaic with the mosaic yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> and the pen the frills yeah, and the yes yeah. like, yeah, yeah. like, he, yeah. he, he was doing those mm. so i would trace it through things like um but then my cousin um since i saw the song i was there was a lot of us my cousins mm. my older brother and i but my cousins was more into hip-hop mm. 
you know, so with all the posters he used to collect he, he, he hype ne why mag shout out to why mag and then about yeah, all most pose to all the posters and stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah and then yeah. the magazines they recorded the page pageant through this that was our so version of a meme yeah yeah okay yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so through pages of magazines saying but yo this thing is actually in the corridor that's big you know it's not i call it tv Mm. like most of his indoors when the look shine is born lwa uba uzibone tv ningathi sizinto ezikude yabo kanti isikhona yabo and then you see these things through the magazines yabo so that's when i saw by your flip there's an art form called graffiti mm. and then through nje like few rides to a town um, i remember there was this other in fact it's still there uh, i think it's a fate 47 um tag in King Williams town. Mm. Uh it's got the fate on the other side and the dog on the other side. Can you come get in the king before we get garage? And it's been there for 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 some years, Ages. you know. Yeah, yeah. So whenever I was here down you you only I would I would literally be expecting to see right like legs in front like looking forward to it's see a bit of a monument. So was, yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. So I was drawn to that. You know, yeah. I'm like oh you can actually take drawing that much further you can mm. make it that big you can make it reach people this way you know and that's that's basically my introduction to e graffiti but I, I didn't pick up the pe- the, the can then right then and there yeah. <laughs> no 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 I hadn't I hadn't I hadn't really got into deep in the culture to learn you know yeah um the styles mm. and uh, kids writing their names i didn't even come up with my own name i hadn't come up with my own name by right. then i wasn't even rapping by then you know i just had like this love for hip hop i didn't even know that graffiti was an element an element of, of hip hop you know what i mean I learn that's that why we need to do these episodes yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah king yeah. yeah but i'd say drawing introduced me to graffiti art actually introduced me to graffiti coming from a background of art I like that. that there's a you know a place for art in hip hop in hip hop right I like that now eventually at some point your love for hip hop brings you so deep and intimately into it that you become a rapper um uh, but right now I'm more interested in how because I love the fact that Gala was all and yeah, yeah, okay. out there I imagine Singola with a whole bunch of kids who who feel like they're nice with the sketches yeah. and who might be a little bit inhibited from taking that and expressing it on the wall because there's so many misconceptions about mm. it's too difficult you can't afford the resources yeah, so yeah. Uh, the headspace as a as 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 a platform is really about speaking to those who are marginalized into feeling that their expression is difficult to do and for for having you right now next to me is an expression that that's some bullshit that if yeah, you put your mind to it <laughs> and you navigate around it it's going to happen so i want you to speak to the young uh, aspiring artists who want to take their art in craft format because their love for hip hop connects them to that what did it take for you to go ah man did i end up on the way hey king to tell you the truth i feel like there's a lot of graffiti writers in luxury mm. they don't even know the graffiti right you know because like from from me kids man like just um uh putting tags on walls you know whether i think i'm a king or i'm a pantula like kids have always drawn on walls yeah you know i know cruz in nantibaza that used to rap and he had that one dude who draws who's yeah. got to go around <laughs> like where i'm from it's like <laughs> their favorite planting spot and you you will see like they will mark it they will ma- like drawings, yeah. you know what i'm saying but then it's conceptual drawings you see like a cat there like a full human figure you know with the brown of the mm. skin you know and all these writings on the on 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 on, 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 the, on, the, body. on the body you know what i'm saying yeah. so the cat put thought into it he put that on the wall and by him putting that on the wall for people to see and know or whenever they see that they can identify the crew just by looking at that one drawing mm. you know what i'm saying that is graffiti because mm. it's 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 actually um putting up you know it's putting on mm. basically it's getting up mm. 
you know, cats were getting up without knowing that they're getting mm, up, mm, you mm. know. And then it stretches, man, because it's, 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 it's word art. The yeah. way I see it, uh, well, it is word art, you know what I'm saying, um, with cats coming in with different styles influenced by, you know, the classic styles yeah. mm. and also like cats trying to um, put a little bit of themselves in there, trying to make their own, um, trying to establish their own identity within the, the culture, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's what the cats were doing too, mm. you know, like whether it's Kama 26, yeah, is we, oh, you know, or, or it's like these cats that do it typography or mm. even and all these these billboards and auction. Yeah. For me, I, I, I looked at that and I found no difference between you and ne graffiti. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because in a in a in a yeah, sense yeah. it's 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 about um letting people know uh about you mm. or letting your voice be heard. Mm. But at the same time you uh sort of like beautifying a ruined spot mm. in a sense and mm. making it special whether you're making it special for a small group or you're making it special for the community at large mm. yeah mm. yeah 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 you know um i love the connection you made the fact that when we talk about the proverbial writings on the wall yeah when we stretch back and we look at ancient hieroglyphics when we go into deep dark caves yeah, Sibone, yeah. our ancient ancestors and how they preserved parts of themselves through coding uh, and the fact that even Gogu, Elokshini, through all different kinds of groups have their own secrets and the secrets creates mm. codes and a language mm. and this language is expressed mainly through these walls and I love the fact that you're able to show people that graffiti, graph writing is an extension of the coding of yeah. the people's experiences it is. Um, and it gives people out there the understanding that it isn't just pretty pictures yeah. but it's yeah. translating out an experience to show people mm what you're going through and as an extension what the particular generation is going so, through because you 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 you've brought graph from its origin point culturally historically conceptually i want you to give the masses a, a taste of how like personally what does it take for a young black man to get into craft writing you know what are the so-called obstacles it's getting up to sure I love that term in craft. I love craft terms. That, that, that term of getting up because once you say a person is getting up, that means they are, they are being active. Yeah. They know that you have something to do. Mm. You know? And with art, it's, it's, it's always been like that. It's always something driving you. It's always something that you've got to put out. You know what I'm saying? And for you to be visible, for you to, 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 to be notable, mm. you have to be active. You know, so cats must just be active. You know, I I kind of get the the hold up it looks shit. You know, um, because there's a whole lot of uh, I think uh, stereotypes. Mm -hmm. A lot of the things we see, we think they are far from us, mm -hmm. inaccessible. Where where whereas mm -hmm. we are literally holding them. You know, because I remember when I went back to Etimbaza. Uh, 20, 20, late 2012. Mm. Yeah. By early 2013, we're already painting. We're not using spray pay, spray cans. Mm. We're doing um, public art. Right. Yeah. Street art. Sure. Mm. Uh, Murals and such. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. King. So using so your paint. So we used to steal paint from, <laughs> you know, collect, then they not say steal, collecting paint. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Leftover paint from engine, you know, from the paint shop and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, oh, we mm. Collecting, no sala. You know yeah. what I'm saying? There's yeah. even a spot there by the dam, you know, in Timbaza, you know. We dubbed the the spots the water canary because oh, we yeah. had so much um, artworks yeah. there by different cats part of Peace Ev. Yeah, you know, because the cats are zero mm. mm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I was always that cat. Now I was like, yo, man, I can't wait till I pick up a can. You know, and my biggest challenge really was first accessing cans. Yeah, One, yeah. Two, controlling a can okay you know but i knew but i had to overcome one to get to the other mm. you know what i'm saying because okay. once i have the cans 
now I have no reason to know to not get up. Right. How do you get into excess? You know what I'm saying? Your excess is just sacrificing something you would buy for leisure. No to, boy, no? to just invest it on something you're passionate about. Mm. Yeah. That's that's how yeah, you access. sacrifice. Yeah. It's sacrifice. Yeah. That's that's where it's at. So you tell me like entry level spray cans, this is for maneka from the we're not gonna name brands, but the the, 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 the general supermarket. You can do graffiti with any spray with can. any spray can. Any you hear that? spray can. I saw him. I saw him. Any spray can. We even have like these Chinese shops, Elokshin, that sell like these right. cheap spray this cans. Right. cans, yeah. Some brands we don't know, but they do the job. <laughs> they do the job. Yeah. 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 Cause I mean, even the cats are like. Cats would actually go as far as buying a can to just go and write my as complex forever. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. House and you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Yo, this is a neat can this cat was writing this with. And mm. you know, but yo, man, you gotta you gotta get into the store and like cop this, yo. Mm. It's either you copying it or you wrecking it. Yeah. 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 And I don't know about cats yeah. actually yeah. like wrecking yeah. cats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I know, you know, and then you get you get cats that get cans from like there's so many car mechanic selections yeah. that use that use cans. Mm, mm. My father was using cans. The first time I saw a spray can, you know, he was spraying his car. Mm -hmm. Had a dent. It was fixed. You know, over some time the paint would chip away, mm -hmm. and then he would just spray, spray over, over it. it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you just take a can and you start experimenting, you know, in a mm -hmm. board or something, Not or in, a, in an, an abandoned building, you know, it's, it starts there. Right. Uh, okay, you go... So you, people shouldn't look at Bamda Jong at, at the catalog every, of, every, of, 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 of your so-called big brands of scares and yeah. things. Hey, how can you do it? I know cats that do graffiti. Like, graffiti actually does involve the brush. I think... I think there's a misconception that it's yeah. only graffiti if it's it's done by it's, spray cans. It's only spray can. Yes, the, the mm. spray can offers you the convenience of getting something done fast. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're out and about, you know, you're in and out. You're moving swiftly. Seconds, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, like vandal missions. Right. You know? Which we're gonna talk about in a second because <laughs> yeah. I wanna go to that. <laughs> 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 we we, yeah. we can't, we can't pretend then, like this shit is out there. But is bigger than that because yeah. hip hop, hip hop is so broad. Hip hop is so many subject matters that it touches on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we all poets somehow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just pushing the message forth, mm. or pushing the me or, or pushing the message across. Mm. That's all we do it, you know. Hence, you see a whole lot of conceptual graffiti. You can tell that there's a story behind the piece, mm -hmm. but you can't take away that that piece is graffiti. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that which grips you from the piece is the poetic side of it, yeah. the word element of it. Speaking to you. You know what I'm saying? What's it saying? Yeah. What's it saying? That's what it is. So. Anything you have, yeah. you could literally practically use. Okay. You know. I love that. We've set the pace. But, yo, I used Any can, use it. Start experimenting. You know an NY mop, man? Yeah, I kind of slot. I saw this. I saw, you know, you, like, you watch this, you like, cats take a, like, um, uh, a roll on. Mm. Yeah. No, the, 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 the rolling, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They pop out the 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 the, 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 the things the round, the ball, the the ball, ball yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they 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 they, 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 they pour paint in there, and then they put like uh they stuff um what is this thing, uh a felt cloth. Mm. Okay. No, you know that 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 fabric is it fabric. It felt. It's, mm, I think it's okay. the same one they use on E. You see those yellow pot scrapers with the. With oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that rough. It, that rough. That yeah, that it's a yeah. sponge, yeah. but yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Stuff that thing in there, it soaks in the paint. And then they would do like a fast tag with the mm. drip. 
Mm. That thing like it, it sucks in a lot of pain. Okay. And they would write, and that that now they have like these markers, like these fat mm. fat nib markers mm. that are trying to like sort of like emulate that texture. Like, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Emulate, like the, if, if, even the effect it creates. You mm. know what I'm saying? Mm. So anything can be used, oh, kid. Okay. Like, it's what it is. Beef's got a joint. Yo, shout out Life Forces. Ah, uh, Outline 100. Yeah. You know that. You know in Outline 100 that the yellow marker, permanent marker. Mm. Yeah. You know that I thing. Know yeah, that. yeah, I know yeah. that. That thing came in different names. Cats, used, cats tag with that. Right. Yeah. You know, because it's a permanent marker. Right. Fast tags. And you see a lot of different styles from that from small tags, from just, them, yeah. you know, being being stretched out Loaded into out, actual yeah. pieces. And wild so styles. the message is, you can use anything that's you can accessible. Use anything you. that is accessible. Yeah. If it's mm. paint, it sits on the wall. And I think, yeah, it's a powerful thing because nowadays we live in an era where a lot of young kids think they need to have the latest cutting edge tools to start yeah. doing yeah. the work yeah. Yeah. and with craft. It's really start where you are, man. Start with what you can get yeah, and, and, and move <laughs> and yeah. move, move with yourself. Because <laughs> if you think you're gonna get that high end stuff, it's all right. I was all right about it. Yeah. But I want to go into now the implications of this. We live in a world where, you know, kids know that where there's graph, not too far are the cops. I want us to sp <laughs> I, I, want, <laughs> yeah. I want us to speak about the politics of being a graph right. Yeah. Um and. The fact that we can't act like niggas can just go out there and start taking in broad daylight yeah, in a building. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. And just your experiences of that, your perceptions of that, and you speaking to a young person who wants to get into that, but the realities of being a, a writer. Um, yeah, okay. We're not saying that you've, you've, you've sprayed legally <laughs> on any walls. We're just saying it happens. Yeah. It happens. Oh, We've known craft writers to go. Graffiti, this is what they do. Yes. <laughs> so, so, Obviously, so, so, we're not so, saying so, you do this kind of thing. Say, oh, this is not true. <laughs> this is graffiti. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> you know hip hop is rough, man. Whoa. Um, yeah, but see, when we initially started Peace Ev, yeah. Peace Avenue as a concept, the collective, as a yeah. collective, no. It wasn't even about rap. It wasn't even about rap. It was about us um, showing that there, there is a positive side, you know, on the flip. To, yeah, you see these kids, these misfits, you know, Elokshini, like maybe the majority, they won't understand. You know, but then. When you when you when when you know what you push in is something that builds, you know it's constructive. We needed something visual that could um, reach the people, you know. Mm. And there's nothing more confrontational and more um, upright mm. or upfront than uh, public art in general. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because the audience is dynamic. Mm. It could be. Everyone. It's not for a specific uh, group, you know, it's for everyone and everybody relates to this thing differently, you know what I'm saying? We needed that, you know, and most of the times when you're pushing positive art, people are going to react to it positively, you know what I'm saying? So, when we're doing these things, we're doing them from a point whereby we, we, we know and understand that this is something that the community needs at first. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because we sit but I'm not loud enough. Mm. You know, maybe because I'm not doing what Ubani is doing. Mm -hmm. Ubani is loud in their own respective right because of what they we got. do. But yeah. what do I got? Mm -hmm. You know. I got, Important I got question. this graph, yeah. I got this paint, you know what I'm saying? And I can do this. At any time I want to do this. And when I do this, I'm not going to feel guilty. Because I know what I'm doing is for a greater cause. Mm. I'd say like 90% of the time, 
the people, even the Popo, <laughs> will <laughs> literally stand and watch. React positively to it. Shout out to the Khatas. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, because what we need to understand is that the Khatas are people. Exactly. Mm. And the people that live in the community. Mm. As much as they have to enforce the law, you know, I mean, this is not me like in South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got my own gripe with the loose, you know what I'm saying, man. But anywho, you know, they are people. You know, there's been many instances, more than, than, than three, whereby cops stopped and actually engaged me on what I was doing. Mm. Nothing negative, you know. Mm. And most of the times, it was probably me painting over something that was negative, that has been a stain mm -hmm. in that certain sport for a long time. Right? Oh yeah. Oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Now, because these things, the hood sees as things that are far beyond their reach, they don't know how to react to them. Same way the law buffs up our art in public spaces that they feel like should be clean spaces for mm. tourism's sake, mm. uh, you know what I'm saying, and the investments and all that, mm. is the same way we feel about the negatives being put on walls in locations. You know these things from as back as, as primary school to yeah. high school, let the toilets, cats writing all these different profanities on the wall. Yeah, and yeah. And then Drawing you get the bathroom bars, yeah, you yeah. know, putting in like maybe four bars of positivity in there, yeah. you know, remaining anonymous, you know, and it builds from that. Crucial. You know what I'm saying? Crucial. Because now you are entering that negative space and trying to sort of like cleanse in a sense. Yeah. Because that's what we as black people do. Yeah. When we see negativity or when we witness negativity, we have to cleanse the space. Mm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Mm. And art is spiritual in that sense. You know what I'm saying? Same with graph because graph is an art form. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So are you saying this is what I'm hearing from you? That yeah. A lot of... I'm not saying, okay, wait, wait hold on. <laughs> I'm not saying cats must go and bomb people's private properties uh, yeah. just because they can. Mm. There's a whole lot of... Um, uh, yo, forgive me, but there is a whole lot of... Uh, I'd say... Uh, douchebags sure. in graffiti. And just like there is a whole lot of douchebags Or it's in like Hazel would say, Ika Kazaba. There is a band within any discipline, any culture. Mm. You know, people who don't really think about the next person. Right. You know what I'm saying? Be it maybe they got into it because of their own reasons. You know, whether those reasons are negative or, or you know, positive, yeah. but uh, done in a negative way. Mm. You know what mm. I'm saying? There's many reasons. Mm. You know, not to say that there aren't those people, but I'm not promoting people going and bombing like the private I mean, properties. Yeah. Private the private property, property. properties are banned because, for me, you know, you always I sort of related to the side of graffiti that is more, I'd say, conceptual in a sense. Right. Because I always feel like if I put art out there, there must be more to it. Right. It, I can't just put art for the sake of just putting up art. Let me intersect you somewhere real quick, man. You, you not. I, I, I you, you. Thank you for being clear on what you ain't saying, the niggas. Yeah, yeah. Now I want you to be very clear on what you are saying, the niggas. So don't bomb people's private property. Nah. But nah, what, nah. what, what, what do you encourage? A craft writer who is itching, one thing, hand and soul. One thing. They wanna go out there in the world in this context of the urban setting. Cats that know me, right? Cats that know me. I know, like, um, through the whole blow up of graffiti, um, it, it, it was majorly in, like, uh, yeah, the urban space, you know, the, uh, the city, mm. the town, you know what I'm saying? Because I guess um, cats were plugged in, mm. you know? Yeah. Whereas us, a look, a look, look she, she. like we're plugged into other things, you know mm. what I'm saying? Um, we're not really, uh, yeah, we knew what was going on, but we were not that hip to the game, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. We see this thing, but yeah, 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 y
You know what I'm saying? But then we grow by just understanding culture and just understanding the teachings behind culture in itself. Because hip hop, hip hop is supposed to teach. Right. It's supposed to teach. It's a quotable. Hip hop hip -hop is, is, supposed is supposed to teach. teach. I feel like any Note music genre is, is spiritual. Any, any, any discipline within the arts is spiritual. And by, by the fact that it is spiritual, then it is supposed to teach because it's something that has to be passed on, something that has to be preserved, and something that has to be stretched out, you know? Okay, okay, okay. So when we chose Bama, we all beautify Logish. So we are beautifying Logish. One thing I encourage is more kids beautifying Logish. Yeah. yeah. And by beautifying, I, 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 I'm understanding you were saying this is about to, this, had, this has a lot to do with the politics of space. Colonialism superimposed itself into the landscape of yeah. our indigenous cultures. Mm. And it did that by creating huge towering skyscrapers mm. and an industrial lifestyle and a core cyclic and sustainable. So as a result, dilapidation, yeah. the decaying of buildings, finding spaces that are unattended to and become mm. corners that are rife with negativity are a part of the urban industrial landscape. Capitalism creates the gap for a genre like graffiti to happen. Because even if we were to go back to the Bronx in the origins of hip hop, it was because of the great massive uh, 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 decaying of the economy and mm -hmm. Brooklyn as a space which mm -hmm. allowed for people to feel like in order to reconstruct and create some positivity mm. in their environment cool. they, 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 they created aspects that gave them hope mm. so we live in the urban context and I love the fact that you are saying because there's always a, yeah, yeah. There's always a place just waiting calling there's always a corner there somewhere yeah. and there's so many stories attached to that corner, corner right yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah, there's so many stories. Most of most of the places that are dilapidated in my hood, it's even places that my aunts and my mother used to work at. Mukubwa. They have stories about these places. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So now the art that I'm putting in these places, if I am listening to the cries of, you know, our mothers and our grandmothers and our aunts, Elo Kishi. You know, that were mostly affected by, you know, the crashing of the whole economy and then, you know, at, at the end result being them losing their jobs, jobs and actually watching the places that Delipidate. they held at glory dilapidating. Mm. They got so much stories to tell. We mm. know these stories. When they vent out, they tell these stories. Mm. Sometimes they're not even told to us, but we're just there mm. witnessing it all. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And these things get stuck in your head. Mm. You know? Right. So me, I know there's an aspect of graffiti whereby, okay, I'm gonna go out, put up my name in all these different fancy fonts. You know what I'm saying? It's all nice. Just a flexing style, right. if I may say. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know, like rapping for the for the sake of rapping. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or 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 or, 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 or flexing my skill mm -hmm. in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there's got to be something that's deeper than that. Yeah. Yes. There's got to be something that's going to take it beyond. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It is a representation. It's beautiful. But what is it holding behind? What is it trying to put across? Yeah. You know? That's, that's, that, that, that part that really drew me closer to graffiti. Because through graffiti, I can safely say that I appreciate you know, the, the, the practices of graffiti for teaching me technique. Mm. Constantly gearing up, doing throw-ups, you know, sharpening your hand control, mm. know how to control your spray cans, cutting your time shorter, mm. knowing how to feel, knowing how to cut lines, cutting, cutting it out, mm. you know what I'm saying? It also helps now when I'm actually developing an actual conceptual piece yeah. because I apply all these techniques that I learned through just getting up, you know? But also even the, the bombing sessions I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? All these 
throwing up. I'm not really like vomiting some stinky shit on the wall. I'm like literally vom vomiting like some Sunday dish, man. Like a cocktail of all these colors on the ball, and you're like, yo, man, flip, this thing was thought out. Right. Even though it's just simple letters on the wall. But it makes the place, it gives the place life. Right. You know? Because dark energy, dark spaces attract dark energy. Mm. Colorful spaces attract colorful energy. Right. So are you saying that it's not so much what you paint? Like if somebody decides to start uh, writing a huge phallic object, Penis this is this is in me. the middle of the wall. This, like this is me. Right. I'm not speaking I'm on not behalf speaking of for, April. On behalf for, of for craft writers, writers in general. Yeah. Yeah. Right, 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 no, right. I'm speaking for me. You know, and probably most of the other cats that that sort of like relate you. to or are inspired by no me the same way mm. it inspired me, you know what I'm saying? So I've always been about I've always been about connecting with my community. Yeah. In everything I do. I've always been about connecting with the community. Because at the end of the day, if you're not connecting with the community, then what are we doing it for? Mm. So now how do I connect with the community through graffiti? Right. We've gone to the origins, we've gotten to the implications, the realities, and the kind of styles you choose to be a, gra a graph writer and it's important to be aware of yeah. the implications of the style of and the implications that your art has in your community of course. and we spoke about the response that the khatas have had yeah. to your artworks so now i want i want you to, to to just kind of share a little bit about what you think um the challenges and the subsequent possibilities for craft mm. in the future moving on are what are the things that are holding it back what are the things that current craft writers have in their power to push it forward? Uh, okay. I think graffiti now, um, in South Africa, it may or may not be the case. It's just what I think. Yeah. I think graffiti now in South Africa is, I think it's at the point whereby um, cats are battling with that whole thing about hip hop and selling out. Mm. You know, uh, commercializing. Aha. 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 Yeah. Aha. I think that's 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 the biggest challenge. Like, um, cats actually having to to monetize this uh, free expression. Right. You know, this aggressive expression that is not tied to anything that is um, commercial, and all of a Sunday now, like. The, the the brands the, the big corporations corporate uh, interest yeah 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 in the craft. interest because mm. uh, graffiti has contributed so much right. in street culture and pop culture and, and yeah. pop culture and pop culture yeah you know what I'm saying it's 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 contributed so much that they actually see value in it mm. so I'd say the the, the the challenge is actual craft cats seeing value in what they do right and how how they, they with the things they go about to build that value you know mm. on the things they do mm. i think that's that's the biggest challenge right now of which it's it's i feel that it's, it's the challenge for every other kind but of artist. every kind of artist yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah it's yeah, real yeah. when mm. you have to these are real to monetize yeah. No, yeah, where you did that, I, want, so. I, want, I, want, I want you to make it personal because we, we talk about this in the headspace. Yeah, because I wanted to go there yeah, because, we, yeah, 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 I wanted to go there. Yeah, yeah you, you don't, for as far as, for, for, for what I know. Because I'm going to go to my phone and I'm going to go to my phone and I'm going to go to my phone. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. yeah. But I'm going to go to my mom and I'm going to go to my mom. Yeah, I understand, bye, bye, bye. I understand when, 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 when the brand shows interest in what you do mm. and they want you to do what you do for them. Right. You are supposed to charge them. Mm. Simple as that. Mm. You are now, it changes from you freely expressing, but you offering a service. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because now you, you're working on their time. Mm -hmm. And at the, at, you know, for at the crux of it all, it's, it's, 
it's really business is about buying somebody's time. Mm. Mm. You know, yeah. or paying them off for the things they put in through the time mm. that you can afford from that person. Right. You know what I mean? That's business. Mm. So now when people want your time, mm. and now you must invest your own interests into their interest for the best of their interest. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to quote them. Right. This is okay. what every artist needs to understand. Mm. You know? And now graffiti is, 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 it could literally be at the forefront because graffiti has nailed down the technique and also graffiti is connected with the community these corporations are trying to reach. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, the challenge is really there. It's within the artist to say now, where do I draw the line between me freely expressing myself as a creative mm. and actually making something out of this as a service? Yeah. Or making a career. Because I know those cats who are actually like flourishing. career public artists. Flourishing. You know what I'm saying? In that but low key. Graph artists, right? Oh, they started at graph, yeah. But as a profession, they paint, mm. Mm. they do public art, mm. they do private commissions, they, 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 they partner up with, with interior designers, designers and decorators. Yeah. There's so many places avenues. you avenues yeah. you could actually plug into because of the skill that graffiti has offered you. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Because you are offered the skill to paint mm. and techniques on how to make what you paint more effective. Mm. It's a school. Mm. This is your pop is a school. Right. Yeah. For as far as I know, this is what you do. You don't yeah, yeah, you, you, you don't you don't have any other day job other than being mm. a visual yeah. artist. I do art. Right. Yes. And, 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 and this is why it's you important. live off of it. I live off art. And this is why it's important to have you, Gangwam, in this conversation because there are people out there who want to understand how to strike that balance, how to negotiate their passion, and funnel it into a a space business. where yeah there is a business side to it. Okay. Cats must not be oblivious to the fact that there is a business side to it. Yeah, and what are the most important principles that you think they'd have to learn to know, to understand a little bit about this business side and um, pursue? Educate yourself. If you can't afford to have somebody educating you about this thing, yeah. then find the free platforms that are there because they are there. Mm. You know, whether you are, whether we might not be in if you be on exposes for an eye, or whether you are shadowing somebody as a protege, or whether you 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 you, you go to school mm. for it, or check out tutorials online, yeah, yeah, tutorials online, you know, yeah, tutorials yeah. Online, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Because I know, man, cats be flipping out here on, like downloading mad stacks of porn and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, like day, like you, you could be using that data. You could be that data, like, data yeah. Yourself. You know, chilling in Wi-Fi hotspots. You know, I mean, like we were talking about earlier with the cats that play instruments. Cats chill. They look at people that have played before them. Yeah. They listen to music that has came before. They do their research. Right. Mm. And you find out there's no school here. The school was actually them involving themselves in the culture. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I got you. you know I, what got I'm you. I got and you. And the culture has all these things to offer. Mm. You can shout with the people that have made it. They have made it through what I have not made it. Mm. I'm still learning. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I know that there is a way. Mm. You can actually live off this. I. Because there is, you know, economic interest in Crucial. This. Crucial. Economic consciousness, cats stepping into the forefront, empowering themselves by using their passion to self-teach if they can, and just if you love it, if you love it, nobody will have to tell you you have to. If you're passionate about right. it, yeah. Now, Headspace is a South African hip hop platform, and I want you to talk about lastly to kind of end it off. Graph is global. 
it's spread yeah. to all corners of this godforsaken planet, Yo. you know, that have urban settings. Yo. Now, I want you to, as a South African graph writer, kind of speak for your people, your kind, uh, and say, what do you think is the unique essence that graph writers from Africa or graph writers from the South of Africa have to offer? Because to my knowledge of graph writing, the styles and the expressions differ, yeah. and a lot of it is environmental. A lot of it is about the indigenous coding yeah. we have in our traditions. Okay. A lot of it is about the blood that courses through our veins and how it informs us. So the last note is, what do you think is special about African graph writing and to try to motivate South African... African yo, we don't even need to stretch that. Now. Yeah, let's go into African it. graph writing. You know what I'm saying? What is most important is that the African knows the African story. Ah, I agree. The African knows the African struggle. Yeah. So let you look at Yeah. Kind of, kind of reminds, me, kind of reminds me of a breeze. Nengo mo ya ke. Right. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. He you always, always saying. throws nengo mo. I kabati a zipingo mo. That's what it is. Thank yes. you so much. I think I'm gonna probably say that a lot and coach you. <laughs> <laughs> the African knows the African story. Gee, I never knew you were that one. Oh, if you're rapping, <laughs> if you're DJing, if you're breaking, you know what I'm and you come from Africa, yeah. remember that anytime you think that the world is your oyster, the African knows the African story. My name is VJ. Nobody can from, tell it better, King. You're right there. My name is VJ, brother from the ancient mother, and clearly, no. Totally got care, so. Zulu, no Zulu. Yeah, yeah, Kafan Twing, Butchas will lie. Yes, Fox sir. face. My it is. <laughs> this is a culture, we do it for the culture. Uh, fuck you to all the haters. I want to name them by name, but I won't. Oh. I love you all. If I can subscribe, you. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 subscribe, yo, subscribe. The yeah, headspace, the ouch. What it